need to stay. I hope this orc will give better news than the one in Sparta. The Sanctuary of Delphi. The gods themselves watch over this land. Gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinon? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. Just he seemed interested in legends. Like you, I, I thought you might get along. How did it... 
You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. <laughs> that much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand a word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this! Of course he does. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia, but this line... I'll be an old man by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right, but if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is he not every bit as great as I said? Oh. I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. I saw you feign ignorance in Kausos. You let an unknown sickness govern your decision. Innocence died thanks to you. But... how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. 
Child of the mountain, the cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Bithia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Rotatos? You're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you, she knew who I was. What I'd done. Tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. The Pythia seemed afraid of them. Guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives. And I will get answers. Alexios, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. Mistios, well, aren't you a sight to my aged eyes? Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. Watch yourself. That's not my line of work. Oh, forgive me. I'm amazed the gods would send me someone so well suited to help me, but who is also so appealing to me physically. I'm glad to hear it. Korygos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. By the gods, woman. I said spare me the details. I wasn't expecting a tough-looking mercenary to be so squeamish about a little fun. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. All right, I'll find the ingredients, if you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry, I'll reward you well. I'm sure Koragos will be thankful also. Where can I find a bear near here? I heard there's a cave near the sanctuary that a large male bear has claimed. Are there any deer nearby? This is for keys. 
There's deer all over the place. This elixir sounds odd. Where did you learn about it? Why, the Pythia told me about it. She's so wise solving a problem I didn't even know I'd have. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. <laughs> if it isn't the eagle barrack himself. You got big since Kefalonia. And you got old, Fortios, the dog's breath. Last I saw you, I think I lit your ship on fire. <laughs> my ship and my beard. These days, thankfully, I've semi-retired. <laughs> Do people pay mercenaries here more than they did in Kefalonia? <laughs> of course they do. Better than Marcos, that's for sure. Everyone pays more than Marcos. You're lucky I took all his crazy contracts. <laughs> I was a false learner. He's a rotten cheat. I only accept the easy stuff now. I'm working as a watchman this very moment. The cushy job. Most days. Once a mercenary, always a mercenary. It's a job you can never shake off. Right you are. I'm learning that all the more now. Trouble goes and comes back twice. Did something happen? <sighs> a couple of priests ransacked this treasury. They took the Zaphires offered by a Thracian king. The bastards. <laughs> Your employer won't like that. No, but you like this. Make an example of the thieves. You find them and the Zaphires, and I'll pay you much better than you're used to in Kefalonia. All right, I'll help you. But... But what? I haven't forgotten the old days. I owe you one, Fotios. No reward necessary. <laughs> ha! I thought I was getting soft. So, I'm hunting priests. Where do I start? Mm, priests aren't used to thief business. They probably hid somewhere quiet. Check the caves west of here. I wouldn't expect priests to be jewel thieves. They didn't take the drachmi or the silver. They knew those sapphires were the most valuable things here. That's priest knowledge. Come to think of it, I found a dead priest. He had a letter on him. <laughs> well, slap me silly and call me Armis. That's them all right. <laughs> Any clues? It said something about going to Despina Fort to sell the loot. I'll head that way. I picked up your message on the board. What's happening? The woman I just attended to, Artemis, pierced her with her arrow to prevent her further suffering. Arrow? What arrow? It means she died in childbirth, Mistios. But the child lives, thank Artemis. I cannot enter the temple until a sacrifice of goats has been made and a fruit offering brought to the priestess. So, you want me to kill a bunch of goats? That would be the idea, yes. It won't be easy, but I'll take care of it. Bye, Zeus. Thank you. You can leave everything to me. How? Yeah. <sighs> 
That's it. Now to collect. Come on! The Oracle is hiding inside. I'll finally get some answers. That's a lot of protection for the Pythia. not here to hurt you. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! I'm looking for my family. And everywhere I go, people are either lying or trying to kill me. You're the first person who might have some answers. But they'll kill me if I tell you. Not if I get to them first. Help me, and no harm will come to you. I promise. All right. But ask your questions quickly. The longer you're here, the more at risk we both are. What is this cult of Cosmos? They are the eyes that see, but go unseen. Enough with the riddles. I want names. I don't know. I swear. They hide behind masks and shrouds. Why would you work for the cult? I have no choice. So, all those prophecies from the gods, all those people, you're paid to deceive them all? Most want to know about love or death. I tell them what they want to hear. But when people want to know about war or politics, I'm paid very well to tell them what the cult wants them to hear. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the temple of Apollo. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived a terrible fall from Mount Taietos. The artifact revealed that child to be you. 
You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo, there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the Hora of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. <sighs> Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? He's with the cult? I can't be sure, but if he is, he would definitely have what you require. Any idea where I can find him? There is a fort just south of the Valley of the Nymph. He's been known to conduct business there. You've been helpful. May the light of Apollo guide you to your family. I should tell Herodotus what Epithea told me about the cult. Maybe he'll have some insight. the Pythia tell you? The cult of Cosmos is hunting me, but I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I can't get in without a mask and cloak. It's how the cultists identify each other. The Temple of Apollo is by the Cave of Yea. Simple enough to find. But a cultist's mask and cloak? How will you accomplish that? The Pythia gave me the only clue I need. When I'm ready, I'll meet you at the temple. For now, I'm going to kill Elpinor, Malakas liar. Come on. You're made from this. You should not be here. Well, either leave or tell me what you want. Who are you? Amistios, I'm not here to start trouble. 
But if that's what you want, I'll end it. Your name? I'm Alexios. Some call me the Eagle Bearer. I am Daphne, leader of the Daughters of Artemis. And you are maybe exactly who I've been looking for. And who would that be? A warrior, a hunter, one who straddles our world and the gods, one who will meet my challenge. When you put it like that, how could I not accept? There's a boar not too far from here. Kill it, then bring me its pelt. You want me to kill a pig? This is no ordinary boar. Let's see if you are worthy of my challenge. Kill it, and bring me the pelt. I'll be waiting, with your reward. the message on the board. What's the matter? I want to travel to the festival in the city. The merriment always draws a fine crowd. Then why don't you go? Bandits have set up camp along the path there, preying on wealthy festival goers. And that's not even to speak of the beasts plaguing the area. And of course you want me to kill them all. No bandit should be left standing. All right, I'm in. I mean your debt. You can leave everything to me. There he is, hiding in plain sight. Careful not to get spotted. Nor knew I would come for him. Use that imposter to lure me into a trap. Your plan failed, Alpinor. Soon, you will join your imposter. Yeah! Uh. 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 Uh
sailors, and I'll pay more than you ever made. There is a better life for you than this. Join my crew, and let me show you. 